Hey guys. No. Oh. Okay. Do care. Did ask. I'm hugging you. 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 I love you. Problems do not exist in a vacuum. Suffering is not spontaneously generated. And there will always be more things that can be made better. I hope you will find a cause that moves you. I hope you will trace it back to its source. And I hope you will take real effective action to make it better. Thank you, Mamaru. You can make jokes about asexuality that aren't derogatory, just saying. As a sex repulsed asexual, I hate it when people have sex. That's why this Pride Month I'm partnering with League of Legends. I invented milk. Okay. Me hunting with my vampire friends. Cracking open a boy with the cold ones. <laughs> Describe Tumblr in three words. Me. Tragedy. Platform. My kitty cat was wandering around going, Brrr. so I was like, in here. And he goes, Brrr. shoves open my bedroom door with his big round head and flops on me. It isn't hard enough that he made a little oof Ooh. noise when he did it. Followed by a category five purring event. There's good in this world, Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Etc. Writing prompt. Your wealthy relative has died and the funeral is coming up. The will stipulates that the funeral goer that delivers the best eulogy inherits everything. Your late relative left scoring criterion that no one knows except the lawyer that will also be judging at the funeral. This reminds me of that one post. You know you spend too much time on this website when you instantly recognize what post is being quoted. Oh, God. Do you ever open your book at, like, 9, and then you decide you'll read just for a few minutes, then all of a sudden it's 2 a.m., and your eyes are burning like you use hot sauce as eye drops, and then you think how you're only 100 pages or so from the end, so sleep is for the week? Yeah. Dude. dude. Okay. Let's get to this. I consider dude, dude. non-gender. Reading someone with a, a dude. dude, or just saying dude, dude, says nothing about either you or them. The only way dude, dude would be gendered would be if it was done intentionally and purposefully. If you have from the request of the person, or the person has done so to themselves, then all is well. If you do so without the request of the person, and even if the person asks you to stop, then you're just a dick. That's your gender now. A dick. Main thing is, pay attention. Constant vigilance. I don't. If I were a video game character, I would be an NPC whose only purpose is to tell the player about the town and the local antagonist in great detail, and speedrunners would try their absolute best to skip talking to me due to me wasting like 15 minutes in a run. Motan Skip would be the most intricate and precise speedrunning tricks in the history of speedrunning, and it would only save like two minutes due to the amount of setup required. The Motan, God bless you, you're fucking evil. Poor bastard. Looks like the perp slapped his balls clean off. <sighs> How's that for a vibe check? Hi, it's Fitz with Slap My Nuts. You know what? Fuck you! Unkills your character. Tag made your character undeath. Christians during Easter. <laughs> God damn it. The only problem with Scythe as a weapon is that you can't design one without some joyless realist deciding it's their duty to remind you how impractical they would actually be in combat. It's always, Mary Scythe would be useless in a real battle. <laughs> and never how was the Scythe. The Scythe looked fun. It was fun. The point of a Scythe is to look wicked cool and make you look wicked cool when you swing it around, okay? Your facts and logics have no power here. Suspend your disbelief, boy. Anyway, I love you scythes. I love you swords taller than my entire body. I love you giant guns mounted on tiny shoulders. I love you whips whose length changes depending on how far away a target is. I love you throwing knives. I love you dual wielding. I love you physically impossible combat scenarios and weapons whose only purpose is to look awesome to my eyes. This was ghost written by a reaper main in Final Fantasy XIV. Give two white guys a budget of hundreds of millions of dollars and watch them create the most mediocre thing you've ever witnessed. Kind of impressive in its own right when you think about it. Penis, 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 penis. I was in school and someone next to me opened a pack of gum and the entire school swarmed him like zombies and fought over the pieces of gum. Ah, so normal school then. I don't care if Tumblr fame is inherently a bad thing. I still want it. 
I want all the fame. No one can stop me from trying. Well, Leo Cat, good news for you. The amount of time I stopped and wondered, what am I even doing? And proceed to pull the wrong lever. Yeah. You know what? I'm tired of people saying, here's my go-to lazy meal. And then they start chopping an onion. Hey, put your lazy meals in the tag. Okay, I'm so sorry. But it's risotto and it does have chopped onions. In my defense, I keep a giant bag of free chopped onions in the freezer. Dude, your lazy meal is a risotto? What's your lazy dessert, a fucking souffle? Is your quick go-to, quick read, waiting for the bus, the fucking poetic Edda in its original Old Norse? Risotto? Are you a fucking alien?